All right there. Welcome to Fat Chance, our section for all things involving these game mechanics like cards, dice, roulette, whatever else. But you know, in a game, I'm a surprise mechanic. It's not about gambling. That's right, and we stay away from those trash things like loot boxes. But right now, we're heading back to see if we can play our cards right with another episode of the Amazing American Suckers. Let's go continue. We've done a couple of shows. We're doing pretty well. So, let's see who else we're doing in the wild, wild west. We got a question mark here. Who's this? That's not what we want. Get back to not that, to the city. Right outside the big top, there's a man shouting furiously. And I offer a handsome reward for anyone who brings him to me alive. Handsome reward? Natch. What is it? What's all that about? Man looks up and down. You, sir? I ain't looked the type to help me with such a matter. Well, you're yelling on my circus grounds, so I think I'm owed an explanation. Reckon I got a point there! Reckon I got a point! Well then, it's all that business with that son of a... With Curry, the outlaw. When I finally get my hands on him, he's gonna regret what he did to my daughter. The bloody hell you need your daughter! How much are we talking? Straight to the point. Five hundred dollars. <laughs> Nice! Consider the matter taken care of. Jack, what are you doing? Uncle Snatch, one of the one that pulls from the man's hand. Trust me on this. Alright, well, we'll find out what that's that like after the show, I guess. Let's have a look around another city. Ah, oh, this wagon, we're still not near the. We're still not at promotion point. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. So let's go to the show. Roll up, roll up. The greatest show on earth. It's a Jones and Jones big top of fun. We have Jewel Jackson throwing her balls around. Yes, the woman sure knows how to handle balls. We have the strongman, Sir, strong Sergey Mikhailov from Russia with love. And we have Weary Lily. There we go. He's just clowning around. Ah, uh, Misfit, Misfit, Misfit is a lizard man. Is he shocking? Is he beautiful? Only you can decide. And up in the top, we've got Mimi on a unicycle. Let's go to tickets, 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 tickets. There we go. 90 spent. Boom, 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 boom. 389 to 648. Let's go to the show, show, show me how it works. Got a minor, minor 49er. And uh, we've got to protect him if we can. We got a pandemonium here. Let's bring that down a little bit. Not only a little though. Let's get some more ignore. And there we are. Up to level five. There we go. Who's being attacked? He's being attacked and they're healing. I think. Oh, they got a boost to ignore as well. Okay. Well, if he's being attacked, we should go with that, shouldn't we? And again. Extra hands make light work. <laughs> Extra sneering minus two. <laughs> it's going to take a bit of a pound in here, I think. Or maybe not. Perfect, so I'll ignore sticks. And then we all float down here, dear. Yes, we do. Thank you. 
let's think about how we're going to do this. Hmm. All right. Hercules hold. And look up above, ladies and gentlemen. Well, gentlemen and gentlemen, gentlemen and gentlemen. It's Mimi looking sexy on the Leone cycle there. Well, that didn't do us any good at all, but there you go. We'll draw one. And what's next? We've only got one we can use. Um, extra hands making light work over here. <laughs> and I think we're going to juggle some fireballs. <laughs> there we go. She's unhappy. There's only one being hit here. And that's her. So we will ignore five with a tsunami of balls. Ooh, but we need more actually. So let's do a teeth lift again. You're hitting him for 15. That's your juggling ball as we ignore five with another tsunami. Let's have a look here, let's have a look. Let's do a reverse cascade. And a little cherry picker there should work nicely. And a bit of ignore everywhere. Finally, well not finally yet, but Mimi appears once again on her unicycle! Yes, she does! <laughs> He's down! And how about a cherry picker for you, sir? <laughs> He's healed! Probably should have gone for him, actually. Ooh, he's been hit by a lot. Alright, I guess we're going for a T-Flamp to save him a little bit. And then, uh, roll it more. Makes it 17. That should help a little bit. Right, let's uh, hit you with a fireball juggle. Maybe Penman's Pandemonium will please you! 
And just leaves one minor minor 49 er We'll get rid of that one. I guess we'll get rid of that one. Quick reverse cascade. <laughs> and a finger lift to take your mind off of the clown. Look, a bandage! We've got a card back! How about another joke, says the clown? <laughs> a little tsunami there for protection! And a cherry picker to impress you a little bit at least. You like it, not a lot, but you like it. And finally a teeth lift to protect everyone. Little reverse cascade, and if you look up above, <laughs> sir, sir, something you won't see down your mind very often is a beautiful young lady on a tightrope on a unicycle. On a unicycle on a tightrope, that would be better. <laughs> and they're happy. Charming aura for the clown, nice. We went 471 right there. Yeah, let's have a look at the map, shall we? Now, shall we have a look over here? How much have we got? 990, you've got plenty. Huh. Well, where is the... There's got to be something over here. There we are, Mile City. Alright, so I guess we will go to Mile City. Unfortunately, that cost a lot of money to get there. Small Wild West, established 1877, 1938 people. It was uh, January 28th, and the fair year of 1887. When the grandness of nature struck Miles down. The largest snowflake in the world fell from the sky, measuring 12 inches. It overshadowed all. And that's about the only interesting thing one can say about the place. But one has to wonder, what other greatness is in store for the town? We've got mine forming a miners game. We know these people. These people know us. Now, if we were to travel... What are you doing there? If we were to travel, we would need some satisfaction and some health. So let's go and see what we can do, shall we? That's a little bit of satisfaction and health, but it's kind of expensive. That's satisfaction and health. And that is um ham sandwich. That is definitely expensive. I guess the ham sandwich is it. We've got enough of each of those. But what we will do is buy some of these. Uh, buy some of these. Mm, 
maybe buy some of these. And then we'll hit roll, Jack! And maybe not come back no more. B5 and 2, everything's in the positive there. Let's go visit and let's put on a fantastic show. Hmm, oh hang on, wait a minute, we're forgetting something. Training wagon, yes, 150. Uh, everything's an upgrade here. Oh, that's a nice one. I can only train one more. Let's train the clown. Not too fond of rolling ball, huh? So which of these do I want? Is it the next three cards of the clown or the next three cards of uh I'm not sure. But clown's cry is uh quite good. I think. Alright, so artist... well, it depends on how many cards you've got in your hand, of course. Artist Wagon, um, where are we? No, yeah, Artist Wagon. Taking out Rolly Boller and adding in Clown's Cry. Well then, welcome to the big top of fun! We've got Jewel Jackson once again showing you how to play with your balls! Strong Sturgy Mikhailov showing you Russia with love and lots of love, lots and lots of love, big strong powerful love. Who doesn't like some big strong powerful loving? And we've got the lizard man and we've got Mimi on her unicycle once again. <coughs> <coughs> Let's go. Let's reverse cascade. Let's <laughs> have a nice little clown crying. Maybe a cherry picker. And we'll finish up with a teeth lift to save everyone from getting hurt. Your boredom doesn't impress us. Our impression doesn't bore you, so it all works well. He's going to heal. And uh, floating down here. Some fireball juggling for a start. <laughs> A little finger lift to protect her little. <laughs> and look, a fiery fat. Who doesn't find them amusing?
Hmm. I think we'll stash a ball and get some ignore. Won't do everything we need, and unfortunately, he's going to be healthy again. Get rid of the cherry picker. With a Hercules hold, we'll help protect people. Oh, and look above, it's Mimi! Isn't she spectacular, ladies and gentlemen? Well, gentlemen and gentlemen, huh? You're down! Let's have a tsunami! Now reach down to five. That's okay, because a finger lift will impress you enough that you won't be able to bore our clown. And then some... Which way shall we go? With you, sir. Some fireball juggling. And perhaps a truck flip. Can you flip a truck? He can flip the bird. And you're going to heal everything, aren't you, sir? Don't worry, we'll deal with it. Look, it's a bandage. We'll have a reverse cascade. <laughs> and a cherry picker for you, sir. <laughs> well, this is going to hurt, but we all float down here. And, um, get rid of that. We have three. I think we'll make you giggle with a fiery fart! Lord's Loki, my bottom's on fire! Some fireball juggling! Cherry picker for you, sir. <laughs> I didn't have enough to do that. I should have done it. I should have done it to him. We have extra hands here. Hercules hold. <laughs> A 
Tom Nookaboom, it's Mimi! Bringing you the magic of the unicycle, and the tightrope, and the umbrella, and the leotard. I didn't really do much good. We got rid of your healing. Well, sir, we all float down here once again. Welcome to the, uh, welcome Mikey, or Georgie, or whoever the hell you're called. What can we do here? Jewel's going to be taken out anyway, so there's no point in worrying about that. Oh, 14. Plus 5 when we reshuffle. Um, 19. I can save 14, but that will still leave 5. Oh, there's... there we are! A finger lift should impress you! Can you lift this much with your finger? Can you lift this so much with your whole body? I doubt it. But then you can't do a tsunami either, can you? Well, let's get everything shuffled back inside, shall we? You're not coming to attack anyone? So let's try a reverse cascade, shall we? <laughs> and some amazing fireball juggling. <laughs> Perhaps with a cherry picker to set it off, just nice. <laughs> and once again, if you're not heard, we all float down here. It's a fiery fart! Will that impress you? I don't know, but I bet this one will! It's a penman's pandemonium! <laughs> there we are! Everyone happy! Once again! 252, that's good enough for us! We've got the snake woman! Let's have a look at the Misfit Wagon. Where are we? A bizarre, bizarre. The Snake One beginning at uh, stash 3 for the random artist for extra, uh, ignore. I'm not sure which is better actually, the Snake Woman or the Lizard Man. Right. Curry should be somewhere around here. Do you know the guy or something? And that smiles but doesn't answer. And he's right up there. We need a couple of meals, so let's see what we've got here. Oh, we Logan AK Kid Curry for friends and enemies is camping here. He's a member of the Hole in the Wall gang, an absolute wild bunch and the fiercest of them all, trying to shoot all he sees, especially if it's law enforcement. So, nutrition and satisfaction. Let's go get some cooking done. Oh, you can't increase the bizarre bizarre. I thought I wondered about that. So, nutrition and satisfaction. Not that. Not that. That would be, but not really have the money. I suppose we could do it. Well, that would be. That's really expensive, though. Mm, 
Mmm, that would be. We'll have that. And a ham sandwich. And then we'll go up to the kids' camp. You approach a lone man sitting by himself by a fire, you notice he smiles widely. My, my. If it ain't smoked ham, Jeff. Long time no see, huh? You know him? Indeed I do. Pleasant trees aside, you know why I'm here, Curry. Pike's daughter. Really? It wasn't me who got her pregnant. And I ain't going anywhere. Curry lights up a cigarette nonchalantly and takes deep jack. You and Uncle Jack are into yourself a confrontation, but Curry interrupts your thought process. They took little Ed. What? Who took him? Butch and his bunch. Ain't with him anymore. And Lonnie? Let's just say we had our differences. There's little Ed. There's little Ed. My son. I gotta get him back. So you screwed it with Peg daughter and you lost your son. Ed's gonna be fine with Butch. Besides, why do you care? You got like hundreds of kids scattered all over the states. Shut your mouth, Jack. Or it's gonna get acquainted with my fist. Ed's mine, and that's that. If you think I'm just gonna let you hand me over to that bastard, you are very, very wrong. Uncle Jack looks at you with a question in his eyes. You have a circus to manage, and Cuddy's an outlaw. There's no question about that. He should be brought to justice. At the same time, the man seems to have a noble objective. Hmm. <coughs> you know what? We're not exactly playing by the best side of the law, so we'll All help right. Curry. Take us to Butch. Jack, keep an eye on him. Uncle Jack, pat you on the back. Sensible nature, my nephew has. Natch, natch. Yes, thanks are in order. Come on, we'll show you to our circus. Right, let's let the happy numbers tumble. Well, I'll be dead. Curry joins your troop and late that evening shows you on a map. Location of Butcher's hideout. You'll find his son there. Alright, so we gotta go back here. A posse of seemingly random people approaches you. A group of women and children from a nearby town has been kidnapped and dragged to a nearby cave by unknown assailants. Now the local sheriff, a barber and a schoolman, set off to find them. You decide to join them anyway, search only to regret it a few moments later. The cave is huge and damp and there are shadows looming all over the tide. Uh, more than you've seen. Once the screaming starts and the barber's head rolls and stops at your feet, you run away. And now you're lost. Bad luck for three shows, or tired for three shows, or pessimist for three shows, or stressed for three shows. I guess we'll uh, retrace our steps. You do what any rational person would do in your situation. Suddenly the barber bumps into you. Didn't he die? No matter, the man leads you and your artist outside. Before disappearing again. You're feeling as confused as you can before what was it? All a ruse, a practical joke, or something strange and supernatural happened in the cave. You realise you'll probably never know. And that you probably don't want to know anyway. Right. We saved there. Hang on, no, actually. Let's move over to Helena. We'll just do a quick piece of cooking. Maybe some beans. That's all good. Right, Helena, Curry handing one of your. Only your stashes for the time being, you realise this might be your last chance to deliver him to the man. 
What do you mean betraying your word? Hurry on! Who's this guy? You do realize your circus looks like shit. Well, you don't exactly look great yourself, mate. How did you meet my uncle? You mean Smoke Tam Jack. What's up with the name, anyway? Ain't my place to tell. All right, so we're going to leave it there. And we'll be back next time to see if we can uh, rescue his kid. And so I've been... Uh, I've been Yorkie the Mechanic, the surprise mechanic. You've been fantastic, the chair is sleeping behind me, and this has been Jones Jones Big Top of Fun on the Amazing American Circus. I shall see you around, Sidion on!